Hi, welcome to Living Food with Larissa. My name is Larissa. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. Today we're gonna make green beans. Besides the fact that I like my green beans very garlicky, I like them soft. I think 90% of the time when I get green beans at a restaurant, they're really hard and I don't like that. I like them soft. So for today's recipe, we're gonna use a pound of frozen green beans, then a medium-sized red onion, some dill, some bay leaves, some grated um, carrots, a red pepper, of course, tons of garlic, and one cup of water. Yeah, so let's get started. For my green beans, I like to use the Instant Pot just because it's faster. It takes me 20 minutes to get the green beans to be very soft. But if you don't have one, you can boil them on the stove. It's just gonna take you longer, like an hour, <laughs> honestly. I just like them very, very buttery soft that you just touch them with the fork and they easily break. That's, that's the sweet spot for me. So I'm adding the green beans in the Instant Pot with one cup of water. That's it, one cup of water. It kind of covers them, but not totally. Let's see if I can do this backwards because usually I'm in front of the Instant Pot. Can I close it? Yeah, I can close it even backwards. Okay, and now I'm gonna put them at pressure cooking for 20 minutes. Uh, I'm not very good at this backwards stuff. Okay, and while the Instant Pot is doing its magic, I'm gonna go to the stove and start preparing the sauce, which is gonna give that amazing flavor to the beans. Here at the stove, I'm gonna be sauteing the garlic, the four cloves of garlic in a half a cup of water. If you like, you can use vegetable broth and of course you can use oil. Okay, now I'm gonna be adding the onion and I'm gonna stir a little bit the pot. And now that the onion is getting softer, I'm gonna add the carrots. Okay. And the red peppers. And probably I'm gonna add another half a cup of water to make sure that the vegetables get soft. Yum, they look so good and they smell really good. After 10 minutes, I added the dill and the salt. And this is the final result. Now that the beans are ready, we're gonna mix them with this sauce. Okay, that only took 20 minutes. The beans are ready. The sauce, I don't know if I can call this the sauce just because it's so thick and so many vegetables in there. I'm adding the green beans to the pot. I'm not keeping the water. If you want them juicier, you can add the water to, to the pot, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay, now I'm gonna mix them and I have to not forget to remove the bay leaves. Oh, it smells, it smells like Thanksgiving to me. <laughs> That's what it smells like. Okay, the bay leaves. Where are you guys? One and the other one. Okay. These are the green beans. Oh, I can't wait to eat them. So much flavor. Um, I like that they're not crunchy. As I said before, at the beginning of the video, I don't like crunchy green beans. These ones, I'm gonna use them for as a side for my Thanksgiving table. I can eat them even as a lazy lunch, just with some toast. On some toast, I put these green beans and maybe some tomatoes and that's it. Um, they're a perfect side dish any time of the year, not only during the holidays, but especially during the holidays. 
I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I will see you next week with another one. Bye!